Most people don't know these tricks, but they are so ingenious that everyone really should know them. Find out how they work and which ones they are in this video. You want to tape up a parcel, have some parcel tape to handle and close it. But now you realize you don't have any scissors with you. But there's an ingenious trick that allows you to tear off the parcel tape perfectly, even without scissors. To do this, simply twist it as you can see here. Fold it in once so that you can stick it back on at the top. Then turn the tape back again and give it a good rip. Now you have a really nice clear cut. So just turn it round like this, stick it here, turn it back again, tear it hard once and it's already torn off and you don't need scissors for the adhesive tape. This works with any parcel tape. If you've ever put a plaster on your finger, you'll be familiar with this problem. You take it off and stick it around your finger. But if you move your finger now or in general, the whole thing just doesn't hold as well and it quickly comes off again somehow. Instead you should do the following. Now make cuts in both adhesive surfaces of the plaster. As you can see here, now wrap it around your finger so that you first wrap the top piece of one side around your finger, then the other side, then the left side again and then the right side again. This way the plaster holds much better, much longer and you can move your finger much better with the plaster. You pop a piece of toast into the toaster, but unfortunately you've left it in for far too long and when it comes out it's already relatively black. Instead of just throwing it in the bin, which of course you shouldn't do, you start scraping off the black bits with a knife. This is also much easier if you take another slice of toast and simply rub it over the toast. As you can see here at the bottom of the plate, a lot more of the black surface falls off straight away and it's much quicker and you can enjoy your toast again straight away. This brings us to our next trick. You'll need your remote control and some clinch film, because for a really ingenious reason you should wrap some clinch film around your remote control. Here's how the trick works. Wrap the clinch film around your remote control twice and tear it off. It should now stick very well to your remote control. You can of course continue to use it as before. That means you can press the button, switch everything as usual. But the advantage of this is that if you're now sitting in front of the TV and munching on something, such as crisps, you soon have greasy fingers because you use your remote control. You also get this grease on the remote control. And getting it clean again is a real pain. Instead you can use clinch film. This means that you can continue to use the remote control but only the clinch film gets dirty. And when you've finished snacking, you can simply remove the clinch film and dispose of it. And there's also a really ingenious trick that makes opening letters much easier than usual. You probably do it the same way. You start at the top of one side and tear through the entire back with your finger. This usually doesn't work in one go unless you have a letter opener, which most people probably don't have to hand. Instead you tear the letter open as nicely as you can see me doing. Not only does it look very unattractive, but it's also quite annoying. And especially once you realize that there's a trick that makes it much easier and quicker. To do this, proceed as follows. Open this corner of the letter again on one side. This means you go between them with your finger and turn it round once. However, instead of continuing along this line, simply tear this piece open further to the side. This will give you a perfectly straight cut. As you can see here, you can simply remove the letter from the side and put it back in again. The next track really impressed me. If you have a ketchup bottle like this, you know the problem that at some point, when the ketchup bottle is no longer so full, only a little bit comes out like I have here. Maybe you then close it and start shaking it like crazy to get some more ketchup down. This also works, but not really well. Instead you should do it like this. Take the ketchup bottle in your hand and swing it vigorously with your whole arm. This will get the whole amount of ketchup down and you can really get every last bit out of the packaging. Another really ingenious household trick is this one for the microwave. Because if you've ever put a bowl in a microwave, you'll know the problem too if you ever try to put two bowls in there or even two plates. The whole thing usually doesn't fit in a microwave. The plate stops turning or the bolts don't fit anyway. But there is an ingenious trick for this too and all you need is a cup or mug. You can now place this in the microwave as you can see here. Now place one bowl next to the cup as normal and simply place the second bowl or plate on top of the cup. This way you actually get two bowls or two plates in a microwave at the same time. And I have another ingenious trick with sticky tape, because you've probably experienced it too. When you get the roll of tape out of the cupboard again, you have to trouble finding the beginning. Somewhere here is the beginning of the roll of tape, but it's not so easy to see and it's usually hard to feel. And it's quite a pain to get it off somehow, but there is a really ingenious trick for this too. All you need is a paper clip and all you have to do for this trick is stick the paper clip to the end of the roll of tape after you've used it because now you can put it down here. 
Firstly, you can always see the beginning of the roll of tape, so you don't have to look for it. And what's more, it's already a little loose at the end, thanks to this paper clip, and you can open it again much more easily. And if you don't have a paper clip to hand or don't want to use one, you can simply fold the end over a little. This will stop it sticking to the roll and you'll be able to find it again more quickly and get it off much more easily. Do you have an empty candle jar or an empty tin jar that you would like to come in using but you just can't get the sticker off? All you need is a hairdryer. Take the hairdryer and carefully go over the sticker. Do this in such a way that you briefly blow dry the entire sticker. This is because the heat will loosen the adhesive. You can then carefully peel the sticker off with your fingers and really heat it up again briefly in all the places where it's still a little sticky so that none of the adhesive remains on the glass and you don't have to clean it up at the end. This removes all the glue and you can continue to use the gloss perfectly. If you regularly use a hot glue gun like this, there will come a time when you need to put a new glue stick in the bag, but the old one may not be in far enough, so it's not so easy to get it in without it getting stuck somewhere. Instead you can just do it like this in future. Take a little of the hot glue, put it on the end of the new pin and then simply stick it on the back of the old one. Because if you continue to use the hot glue gun as normal, there will come the point when this pen will be pulled in as normal because it is already stuck to the other one. And so it works really simply and you no longer have to make sure that it is somehow pulled in at the end. For our next trick we need a conventional cloth pack. This can help us when we want to hammer a nail into the wall. You've probably experienced this too. You want to hammer a nail into the wall somewhere and you've looked out exactly where you want it to go. Now you take your fingers, hold it firmly and start hammering the nail into the wall. But it could happen that you miss and hit your fingers, which is quite painful. To prevent this from happening to you, all you need is a cloth pack. Insert the nail into the cloth pack and hold it against the wall. You will then have a good aid to hold the nail in place. This means you don't have to put your fingers near the nail and you won't be able to hit your fingers. Now hit it a few times until the nail holds in the wall by itself. And then you can remove the cloth pack again and have used it perfectly as an insertion aid for the nail. Do you regularly buy egg packs like this one? But what if you have more eggs than these but don't want a second pack in the fridge? But the eggs won't fit in here? Then simply turn the pack over. There are usually compartments at the bottom of the egg pack where you can put more eggs. Just make sure that when you lift it up now that it is really completely closed and hold it firmly with both hands so that the eggs don't just fall out at the bottom. And if you don't yet know exactly where you want to place your kitchen roll, I'll show you two ingenious options here. Instead of just putting them somewhere ugly, there are much better options. The first option will be in the cupboard of your choice, preferably one at head height. If you still have a little space at the front, you can simply put a kitchen roll in there. Because when you close the cupboard now, a small piece of the kitchen roll will peek out at the bottom. You can now simply pull on it and tear off a sheet at a time. And there is already a small corner for the next sheet, which you just have to pull down again to tear off another piece. There is another option. You need a drawer for this. If you have a little space in a drawer, you can simply put the kitchen roll in there and leave a small piece sticking out at the end. This way you always get a perfect piece torn off. Would you like to find out more kitchen tricks that almost nobody knows but everyone should know simply because they are so ingenious? Then click on the video you see on the screen because I'll show you some more.